Hello, first grade. Today is lesson 84 of phonics. This is the last lesson before winter break. I am so excited and I am so proud of you for learning all of the new skills and sounds and coding. You have done an amazing job. So today we are going to review by doing our alphabet accents again. So we are going to again punch the accented letter. So just as practice, this one we say the letter more quiet and then on the accented letter we're going to punch and say it a little bit louder. Okay, ready? A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, H, H, I, I, J, J, K, K, L, L, M, M, N, N, O, O, P, P, Q, Q, R, R, S, S, T, T, U, U, V, V, W, W, X, X, Y, Y, Z. Very good. All right, so now I want you to look at the word that I have written on my board at the top. This word is what we're going to look at. So what should we do before coding the word? What should we look for first? We look for suffixes. Are there any suffixes? No. We look for final stable syllables. Do you see a final stable syllable here? Me neither. So we'll look for some obvious coding. Do you see any obvious coding? What does the E do when it's at the end of the word? Right, it's silent, so we'll cross out the E at the end, okay? So what should we do next? Look for the vowel pattern and divide into syllables. So which vowels do we see? Yeah, two A's, so I'm going to put V and V for vowel. And what's the next step? Look between the vowels for consonants. And how many consonants are between the vowels? Right, just one. So this pattern is a VCV pattern. Where do we divide this word? Right after the first vowel. There we go. And which syllable is usually accented? Right, the first. So I'm going to draw my accent mark now. So let's see what we have in each syllable, okay? So this A is open and accented. How should we code it? Right, long with a macron. Long with a macron. And what about this second vowel? How should we code it? Right, we should put a macron because it has the sneaky E at the end. So can you read this word, how it is? A wake. A wake. Have you heard a wake? Or should we say awake? Awake. So we need to change the first coding of the A. We want it to say a. Uh, awake. So it's still. We, we need to look at it and is it open and accented? 
No, we're going to move the accent mark because awake has the second syllable accented. So this is still open, but it's not accented. So when A is open and not accented, it usually makes the schwa sound. Remember, a uh, awake, and the schwa is that upside down E. Awake, the schwa sound is a. Uh. We don't need to change the A in the second syllable because the sneaky E makes the vowel long. So the second syllable is accented now. This word is awake. Awake. So let's look at a picture card for today. Our new keyword, let's see if you can guess from the riddle. This is a curved yellow fruit that you must peel to eat. It grows in bunches. It's a favorite food of monkeys. Do you know what it is? Banana. Banana. The keyword banana helps us remember the uh sound spelled with a. Banana. Banana. Uh. Okay. Now we also have a new sight word today. The sight word also has the schwa sound, but spelled with an a. Ready? Again. Again, this A is making the uh, the schwa sound. Again, again, let's spell again together. A, G, A, I, N. Again, can you use the word again in a sentence? Let's read the word again. Again, very good. So let's look at just a few other words that follow this rule, okay, that have the uh sound or the schwa. So we have a uh, go because we have two vowels. So we will divide it there. If we put macrons above both, it would say a go. That's not right. So the second syllable is accented. This A is going to say a, uh, a uh, go. Here's our new sight word. Again, that second A is part of a digraph, but it is still part of a vowel consonant vowel pattern. A again, or uh, again, uh, again. Okay, same with about, we have a digraph. So this is still part of a vowel consonant vowel pattern. About, about, about. So from now on, when we are writing the letters that make the uh sound, we used to say you says uh, but now we will need to say U, comma, A, because A makes that uh, the schwa sound when it is open but not accented. So now for uh, we will say U, comma, A. U, comma, A. So let's code a few more words together before we go to our worksheet. These are some codes that you might see on the worksheet. I'm going to write, cool her feet. And accepted the ring. All right, let's look at cool her feet. So cool needs a K back on the C. And we have digraph OO, cool. Her has a combination. What combination is in her? Right, ER. Cool, her, and what do you see in feet? Right, 
digraph EE. -E. The first E is making the long sound. The second E is not making a sound. Cool her feet. Okay, for accepted, I see suffix ED. Let's put a box around it. Accepted. I see two vowels here. This time there are two consonants, so we'll divide between the C's. Accepted. Accepted. This C needs a K back because it is followed by a C. The second C is followed by an E. So we are going to put the cedilla, this is soft C, accepted. And we need a brevi above this E too. Accepted, accepted. For the, we have digraph TH, we need to cross it out. Uh, 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 that's that schwa sound. The ring has digraph NG, brevi above the I. Accepted the ring. All right, now you can join me for our worksheet.